Hey everybody, it's John McGraw of John McGraw Photography. Today is March 25th, 2020. Uh, anybody else losing track of the days? I had to look at my phone to see what the date was and uh, what day of the week it was, but uh, that's how it goes when uh, it's kind of like Groundhog's Day. Um, every day at home seems kind of the same. Watch some Netflix, do some chores around the house, and uh, you know, my house isn't spotless like I thought it would be if I had a couple weeks off, but uh, hey, we're getting there. Uh, today I am going to do some yard work. It's supposed to be about 58, I think, or in the high 50s. So I'm going to try and get outside just to continue to get some fresh air and, and do some stuff around the house that, you know, always wanted some time to do. So I'm going to do some of that today. Today I'm going to talk about panoramic photography. Um, you know, I started doing this about two or three years into taking photography serious again. Um, I just wanted to get a wider angle of certain um, certain locations or I wanted to get a little better quality photo and what panoramic can do it can do a couple main things so um, you're able to maybe your lens isn't wide enough where you can't get the whole shot that you're looking for in um, but also the quality of the photo so what you're going to do the basics of the panoramic are um, what I do is instead of taking it horizontal I take it vertical so I turn my camera vertical. And then I usually take about six shots is what I found is, is the best, uh, but sometimes it's more. But what you wanna do is, um, so kind of center your shot and then go to the left to wherever you need it. Um, I usually don't try and go more than 90 degrees for the whole shot. So uh, otherwise it starts warping everything. It looks a little funny. So what I do is I center it and then I turn my body or my tripod to the left or to the right, whichever you wanna start with. And then I take a photo and then I turn a little bit, take another one. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're overlapping each photo. So that photo one on the right side, about a third of that photo, whatever that area is, you just visualize that. When you take that next photo, make sure that on the left side of that photo, a third of that same scene is on that, that new photo and do that for each of them. So just make sure when you finally put them together that there would be about a third of each photo that would overlap into each other one. That way the software can pick it up. And what the software will do, whether it's Photoshop or Lightroom, I have another video that shows you how to do it in Photoshop. It's pretty simple. There's tons of videos out there. I'll do a few more as well. But once you put it in the software, it looks for where it wants to cut the photo and then stitch them together. That's why you wanna have a third of each photo that it has that room to kind of move back and forth to pick what section it wants to take. So, um, so like I said, make sure you're not taking it horizontal, you're taking it vertical. And that'll really help you out. I'll always talk about a tripod, makes your photography a lot better. Same thing with the panoramic put it on a you know put your camera on a tripod if it is allows you to go vertical go ahead and do vertical turn your tripod photo 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 about six photos you could take 10 you could take three whatever you want but six is what i generally find uh, will help you the most or give you the best result so um after you take them um, and the reason i say the quality is better is because let's say you're shooting a camera that has 20 megapixel or 30 megapixel. So that's for that one frame. So if you take it horizontal, that one frame is 20 megapixel. So now you're taking six photos that are 20 megapixel. So once you stitch that together, if you were to zoom into the far left, you're zooming into a photo that is vertical that is 20 megapixel. And then that next one's 20 megapixel, 20, 20, 20. So where you really look at megapixels is when you zoom in, that's when it starts to getting degraded. The higher the megapixel, the clearer the photo is gonna be when you're zooming in or cropping. So now all of a sudden you have six out of 20, you have 120-ish. That, that photo is now 120 megapixel-ish because you can zoom in, it's 20, 20, 20, 20, that sort of thing. So you always get a better quality uh, photo by having the panoramic. So a lot of my big photos will be panoramic shots. So, um, you know, it, it really just opens up another avenue for you that you can look at things a lot different with, with being able to, maybe with your one lens, you're not able to get the whole shot in there. With six different photos, you can. 
So um, I'll put a link to the video I did about how to stitch things together in Photoshop so that you can see that. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Always, always here to answer. So uh, on social media and all the platforms, you know, you can find me on John McGraw Photography, johnmcgrawphotography.com, all the different platforms, John McGraw. Subscribe if you like the channel, um, you know, so you can see more videos. Hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks for everybody out there still working. Appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to finish my, uh, my cup of cappuccino here and get the rest of my day started.